Well, the Minister of Education, the Honorable Glennis Hannah Martin, and the Minister of Works and Utilities, the Honorable Alfred Sears, touring the Jack Haywood Gymnasium. It was an opportunity for them to get a closer view of the ongoing renovations. Jay Philippe reports. The Minister of Works and Utilities, the Honorable Alfred Sears, the Minister of Education, Technical and Vocational Training, the Honorable Glennis Hannah Martin, along with the delegation touring the Jack Hayward Gymnasium, which has been under renovation since early last year. I'm very pleased to see the progress. There are one or two change orders which have to be uh, made, but separate and apart from that, uh, the work is progressing well. According to Sears, the gym is expected to be completed within the next four weeks. There are other aspects of the works which are very long um, lead items such as the appropriate floor and ensuring that this, it meets the specification for basketball tournaments, um, international uh, competitions, and as you stated, it's a multi-purpose facility. It serves the purpose of the school in terms of educational and, and, and athletics. It also uh, serves as a community center for community activities. With the 2023 hurricane season fast approaching, the completion of the gym will also serve as a safe harbor for the community as a hurricane shelter. These multifunctional use all integrated in the design so that it can be robust um, for the various purposes in, for which it is intended. Now with mock exams and BGCS examinations scheduled to take place at the school, Principal Melissa Cooper says plans are in place to sit those exams in the gym. So what we've already done is we've already put in place that we will use part of the campus, kind of shut down school just for that hour and a half. It'll be home base and then our students will be able to take their exams. So although we don't have the gym, things have not stopped. We are still moving forward with our plans for the BGCSE examinations. For the Bahamas tonight, the Northern Edition, I'm Jay Philippe.